test for alcohols, you must add potassium dichromate 4 and dilute sulfuric acid into a test tube. Add your unknown organic compound and heat in a water bath for a few minutes, and if the compound contains an alcohol, you should observe a colour change from orange to green. For carboxylic acids, add sodium carbonate to a test tube with the organic compound. If effervescing, or in other words bubbles are given off, occurs, then the organic compound is a carboxylic acid. There are two methods of deducing whether or not your organic compound is an aldehyde. Firstly by using Tollens reagent, and secondly by using Phalanx solution. For the first method, by using Tollens reagent, firstly add a few drops of silver nitrate with one drop of sodium hydroxide into a test tube, and this will form a precipitate of silver oxide. Then, add dilute ammonia drops until the precipitate re-dissolves, and at this point you will have created Tollens reagent. Add your unknown organic compound and heat in a water bath for a few minutes. If your solution contains an aldehyde, a silver precipitate will form, and it may look like a silver mirror. In the second method, by using failing solution, firstly add 10 drops of failing solution A, or otherwise known as failing solution 1, into a test tube. Then add failing solution B, or solution 2, to it until you form a deep blue solution. Add your organic compound to the solution and heat in a water bath for a few minutes, and a positive result for an aldehyde would be a colour change from the deep blue colour into a brick red. To test for bromoalkenes, add ethanol and silver nitrate to a test tube and warm the solution in a water bath. Then, add the organic compound to the solution and cover loosely with a cotton wool plug to reduce the fumes that are given off. And if a bromoalkene is present, then a cream precipitate should form in the test tube. It is the bromine in the bromoalkene that is responsible for this colour change. To test for alkenes, place a few drops of your organic compound into a test tube. Then add bromine water drops to your solution. And if you observe a colour change from orange into a colourless solution, then there is an alkene present within your unknown organic compound. If your organic compound tests negative to the two tests prior, namely the test for bromoalkenes and the test for alkenes, then it is most likely a cyclohexane due to its high unreactivity. A written version of each of the tests will be available in the description below.